we're able to offer uh, owner-occupied commercial real estate loans right now for as low as uh, 3.49%. Yeah, we've really been able to save a lot of clients money on overhead by refinancing their loans or, in a couple instances, able to help uh, business clients purchase real estate. And uh, I know that's important for business owners out there. So for our existing clients that might be with us today, thank you so much for your business. We look forward to serving your needs going forward. And for those of you who don't know, uh, you'll probably be hearing from us in the near future. We're out actively calling and we'd like to, to build a relationship with you. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for your sponsorship. We appreciate that. Um, we have some business, a chamber business that we need to take care of. Uh, like Terry said, I'm Lee Garrett. I am the past here. She's trying to sign me up for another year, says I'm Tara Leck, but that is not the case. I, I am past chair, but I, I bring to you today uh, a recommendation from the executive committee regarding our by bylaw changes. I'm sure all of you read your email that Terry sent out earlier in the week, and you've all reviewed the bylaws and are ready to make a vote on these. But we had some changes that I bring to you in the form of a motion from our executive committee. Um, I hope that you've noticed, if you read these, that most of it was clean up. We brought some things up to date uh, that had just got uh, a little old and needed some revision. Uh, but there were no sweeping changes of the bylaws. Um, so, I bring to you the bylaws today. Are there any questions that you might have regarding those changes that we made? I hear no questions, so this requires no second because it comes from uh, the executive committee. All those in favor of the change to the bylaws, if you would signify by raising your hand. Uh, and if you are opposed to those, would you also raise your hand? Seeing none, uh, the uh, motion passes unanimously. I appreciate appreciate that vote. Now I'm going to turn it over to Terry. I'm going to have to excuse myself, and uh, she is going to give you some updates on the chamber. And again, I want to tell you thank you for your membership. Thank you for your investment into the chamber, Terry. Everybody thank Lee for filling in today. Well, Jimmy has the flu. Oh. Meredith was going to fill in. Uh, Michelle, where's my student? Michelle that works with us. She um, was about to kill me this morning because yesterday we had the program done and copied and then found out Jimmy wasn't going to be here. So then we redid the program for Meredith Malcolm, who is the chair elect, to um, handle the program. I got a text from her this morning about 6 o'clock that she's got to take her child um, to Eggleston today. So y'all keep keep her in your prayers and thoughts. But so, so I called me and I said, well, so after the third time we printed your programs today, um, I missed the past chair to chair elect. So um, anyway, um, hopefully Jimmy will be better soon and Meredith's um, child will be good as well. On the back of your program, hopefully you'll take that with you today. That's all of the 2013 dates for the Chamber events and meetings. So please take that with you. Go ahead and mark your calendar, and that way you've got the dates. If you'll notice, our Chamber luncheons are going to be on the second Wednesday um, this year, except for the holiday month, we've been on the third Wednesday. So we move those all to the second Wednesday um, for 2013. So. Please make sure you take that with you, and that way you'll have all of those dates ready. I think that, um, Matt, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the chamber business so we can do the fun stuff. Um, Matt has a couple of door prizes he's going to draw for. Do we have um, business cards right there, Nicole? Bring up the progressive pot tickets and the business cards.
in Cindy Little, who's our second winner. Thank you, Matt, for providing those four prizes. Congratulations to Jeff and Cindy. Nicole's still counting money, so I'm going to go ahead and present our member of the month. Terry Griswold had a death in the family, so she couldn't be here. So, a lot of stuff going on. Um, this month, member of the month, is another very deserving business. This business is very active in the county and in the city, which they're located in. They're always willing to donate products for community fundraisers. They allow their employees time to volunteer and to be involved in community organizations. Anytime I have had a need for something, they've always gotten it to my office. One of their company partners serves on our Chamber Board of Directors and is one of our division vice chairs. I'm very proud to present the December Member of the Month Award to Social Circle Ace Hardware. <laughs>
much. That was beautiful. Okay, so a little recognition now. Over here, this loud table, <laughs> is our Leadership Well Done Class of 2012-13. Um, I'm going to let y'all introduce yourself. If you'll tell everybody your name and your company, that would be great. And talk loud, they can hear you. I'm Hank Shirley, Walton County Facilities Management, Risk Management. Ryan Hall, Gwinnett Federal Credit Union. <coughs> Brian Hartman, Monroe Art Guild and Walton County Music Guild Director. Shannon Asa, Legacy State Bank. Josh Johnson, Preston and Malcolm Law Firm. Um, Keith Brooks, with Walton County Sheriff's Office. Brian Arrington, the Walton Tribune. Brian Hedge, Front for Monroe Area High School. Sheila Wyatt, World Pay Payment Processing. Renee Park, Tap Plumbing. Susan Blair, Patty Southern State Farm. Angela Yarman, United Way of Walton County and Communities and Schools of Walton County. Very good. Thank y'all. We also have a lot of Leadership Walton alumni. Well, real quick, um, Kevin Little, who's the chairman of that group, if you'll wave your hand or stand up. Um, Kevin is chairing leadership this year for us, so thank you very much. Um, leadership Walton alumni, we have a lot of Leadership Walton graduates, so if you're a graduate of Leadership Walton, if you'll just stand so that we'll know who you are. All of us are. And we have lots of our Chamber Ambassadors here as well. If you will stand real quick, so we can recognize you. And then finally, if you've served as a volunteer on any committee or task force group in 2012, if you will stand real quick so we can see who you are. Um, without the volunteers involved with the chamber, we wouldn't be able to put on the programs that we're able to do. So we appreciate your involvement. We appreciate your support. And um, for those of you who did not stand, I would encourage you to get involved um, in the chamber. Go check with someone who did stand and, um, and find out how it's benefited their business for them to be um, active as a volunteer. Um, Jimmy has also done a great job this year um, as chamber chair, and I just hate that he's missing his last meeting, and he does too. So if you do see Jimmy out, please um, thank him for his service um, leading the chamber this year. Do we have any first-time attendees here today, if you'll stand, so that we'll know who you are and make sure folks come and talk to you after the meeting? First-time attendees? love to thank Sheila for singing for us today. Um, Social Circle Ace, congratulations, Ted, on um, getting member of the month. I would also like to thank my staff for all the work that they do, helping to make sure all the programs um, happen for the year. I see Michelle and Nicole, I don't know if Connie's still hiding outside or she's back there with them. Will y'all wave to Connie's outside? So everybody who couldn't make a lunch today said, I sure hate I'm going to miss the 12th day for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> if Connie were in here, she, could, she would tell you. We even got emails. I hate I'm going to miss the 12th day for Christmas. So it has been our tradition to sing the 12 days of Christmas at our December luncheon. And as you all know, our lunches all throughout the year are, are pretty serious and it's updates on the county and our city and community and organizations. And our December one's always a little bit lighter and a little bit um, more fun for the holidays. So on your table, you have a red piece of paper that tells you what day you are. Wait, <laughs> 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 
or two turtle uh, Real quick, someone at your table probably has been to a lunch before. Hello? Probably someone at your table has been here before, but in case you're all new, when it's your turn, you will stand up, you will sing your verse, act it out, and then you will sit back down. So you know how the 12 days of Christmas go. Number one, where's my table number one? Right back there. So you'll be getting up. Okay, we'll give you just a minute to get your game plan together. Six. Six. Oh! <laughs> Five 